Uh, so 70% of all computers in the world have been compromised by this bug, which is two years old. Expanding on that then, what uh, overall, what would you do? Where do you think Heartbleed's going? Will government use it as a power grab? No, I don't think the government will use it, Alex. I think I think that the fix has already been uh, announced. However, it's like locking the barn door after the cows are gone. Two years we have had this problem. Now, think about think about how critical this is. Seventy percent of all computer systems, every almost every major website, including Yahoo, including Facebook, including Google, use the Open SSL code. Um, so everybody who's been using these systems is now it has been vulnerable for two years your passwords have probably been taken uh, your your uh, secret communications uh, have probably been read uh, hackers have known about this for quite a while um, the the user community has not and again it's it's the problem of laziness you know we've we've become uh, somewhat um, lax in our understanding of what we're doing. Our technology is so advanced and yet we are using things like open source composed of four volunteers, Alex. It's, 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 it's astonishing, it boggles my mind. And I've been saying all along that there will eventually be problems. There have to be. There is no organized quality control and testing process for this major element of security and privacy. John McAvee, uh, the guru, the inventor of what is known as uh, antivirus software, and then also well known for uh, his intrigues down in Belize. Um, expanding on this, and we're going to play a little animation here in a moment. Tell us about your new free app or software uh, that you think is the answer to much of the security problems for the individual out there. Well, our app runs on Android phones, Android smartphones. I still believe that phones present our, our, our greatest risk to security and privacy. And uh, I have just released an app which will run through all of your applications and tell you which ones are watching you through your camera, which ones are listening to you through your microphone, which ones are reading your emails, reading your SMS text messages, or even calling uh, without your knowledge, using your telephone. Uh, and you would not believe the number of apps that do this. Most people find that 50% of their apps or more that they have downloaded and have been using for years violate their, their privacy in an astonishing way. After you run the system, you can then choose which apps you want to trust and which you don't. The ones you don't want to trust, we will simply remove from your system. Uh, this is the first step in, in the major decentral product project. And I think that this is probably the most important. Again, people who run this are astonished. You would be astonished, Alex, if you ran it on your Android phone. It would, again, over 50% of apps are violating you in some way, listening to you, watching you, reading your messages, looking at your location and reporting it. Uh, it, it, it's, it boggles my mind. What happens is people download these apps and they don't pay any attention to the fine print. Uh, you know, you have a contract which is three pages long, nobody reads it, you just run the app. And that app, why do you think they're free mostly? They're free because they're making money by selling your information, where you are, what you're doing. John McAvee, I want to come back from break and have you break this down. But first, here's a 30-second promo you've got for your new free Android app, the rollout will be on other systems soon, called Decentral. Here it is. <laughs> I need to have some ads for, like us for that. Uh, again, it was mainly a visual ad. Uh, where's the best place for folks to go, John, to see the ad that I just played the audio of? Uh, okay, it's uh, it's on uh, our Google Play. Uh, the program is D Central One. That's D, uh, then the word Central with the number one after it. Uh, it's free, uh, and, and I'm not watching people or, or doing anything. Or who is McAvee.com? Let's come back and talk about it straight ahead. Excellent ad. I want my ad department to basically do stuff like that. That That is powerful. We'll be right back. 
can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money time and your family food supply choose 100 pure heirloom seeds in the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com why spend more the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com is only 37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure hardy easy to grow heirloom seeds yes only 37.95 that's 70 percent less than our competitors you could buy three survival seed vaults for less than one of theirs the survival seed vault from mypatriotsupply.com includes includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. is our guest. I want to continue with internet security. In the next segment, I want to ask him about just the state of the world right now, but uh, you were getting into your decentralized uh, whoismacavee.com. Folks can follow over there to get the uh, free Google uh, Android app and things that you're going to, you were telling me going to roll out to Apple systems and others soon. Uh, but explain to people what, what your application does uh, to uh, give some levels of protection. I guess it just tells you what's going on. And then you're also developing another system that'll be a little box that gives people web anonymity no matter where they go so you don't have to trust a third-party uh, proxy server? 
Yes. The, uh, what we're doing is we're rolling out Decentral in phases. Our first phase was the uh, privacy app that uh, it first gets rid of those applications uh, that are invading your privacy. And again, an astonishing number of apps that you download do that. I mean, for example, Alex, the Bank of America app, uh, the online banking application, you would think that's a, that's a very trivial thing and it wouldn't need any information, yet you have to give that permission to turn on the camera on your phone. Why? Because I, I assume, because they, they haven't told me, I've called many times, I'm assuming it's because if you empty your account uh, online and say, well, hey, I didn't do that, uh, they can come back and say, yeah, well, we have, we have video of you doing it and talking while you're doing it. Uh, still, it, it, this should be known. I mean, you, you should know that, that while you're doing the online banking, someone is watching you or recording that data. Uh, and if, if there's an employee at the bank that's bored one day, I mean, uh, at lunchtime, they, there's nothing to prevent them turning on your camera and seeing what you're doing. Well, that's admitted at the NSA that they stalk their girlfriends, ex-girlfriends, wives, husbands, uh, uh, business partners. I mean, they're just doing whatever they want. Right. And it's not just the NSA. It's, it's the major American corporation. The world has changed, Alex. Everything is about marketing now. Everything is about where you are, what you want, what you're doing, what you need. Uh, and the more information they have about you, what you're wearing, uh, where you go every day, then the more they can market to you. It's a, it's a very frightening situation. So it's not just the NSA. The NSA is is motivated by some bizarre concept of, of national security. American corporations are motivated by greed, uh, and they will do anything to increase their profits, including violating your privacy to an astonishing degree. And our app tells you that. It will tell you which applications are doing this, and then you can choose. You can say, well, I'll, I'll live with it. I'll live with them watching me while I do online banking. Uh, but if you don't like that, we'll just remove the app for you. Let me ask you this question. I had asked the crew a while back, and, and, and they didn't get around to it because they're busy. But I said, I want to do an animation or a graphic that literally shows like blinds and somebody looking through your iPad and then start talking to you. And you're like, hey, what are you doing? And the, and the person says back, oh, hey, you know, you don't mind if I watch you, do you? I'm your neighbor, Bob. You'd go over and kick Bob's butt. But if it's government or a corporation, it's like, oh, let them watch me. When they're using the data, just like thieves will use data off Facebook to rob your house, you protect your data because there's bad people out there. People go, well, I'm not bad, so spy on me. No, there's bad people out there. It's like, I'm not going to lock my door at night because I'm a good person. No, you lock your door because there's bad people out there. Absolutely. That, that, is, that is a fundamental problem, and it has been a problem all along. Um, and again, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that... Um, we willingly load these apps into our system without caring. Um, we don't understand the implications of people knowing where we are, what we're doing, who we're with. Some apps actually read all of your contacts so they know who all of your close friends are. They read your SMS text messages. Believe it or not, they can read your emails and download them. You give apps this permission. And this is frightening that we have loaded these things and we have no concept what they're doing. Gmail admits they read every email you send and put it into a data mine. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they do that because it gives them great power to know what the world is doing, what every man, woman, and child is doing every day, what they're, who they're talking to, what they want, what their dreams are. Well, that, that's great for them, but it's terrible for us. I don't want that. I would like to have some privacy. I would like to have you the... Know, Something funny I've noticed, I agree with you. If you're looking at one of your friend's phones while they're texting just by accident or because you're used to looking at screens, people will get really irritated if you look over their shoulder at their computer. Even in an internet cafe, I'll see something interesting on somebody's screen and look at it. They'll get mad. Absolutely. But then the government is gang raping them. Corporations are and they love it. They do. And it's like, well, one person's looking over your shoulder. If you've downloaded 50 apps, there are 50 people looking over your shoulder. Not just at what you're typing in the screen, but what you typed yesterday. <clears throat> the note that you typed to your wife. Think about it. They, there are private messages. Our most intimate thoughts and intimate communications are being watched by corporations and the government. This is a frightening situation, and we just blithely go on about it. I agree. It. Stay there. And I'm already finding that it's a panopticon effect where I'm doing everything as if I'm being watched. And it's not that I've done something bad, but now I can't be private. I've, I've been robbed. John McAfee's our guest. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones. Decentral. The Get the free app. Radio at whoismcafee.com. Decentral.